Tomorrow, voodoo. Voodoo. Running from my magic. This podcast just doesn't apply to picking. This applies to anything in life. You need to take risks. If you are stuck in your ways and are wondering why nothing is changing for the better in your life, maybe it's because you are not trying something new. Stepping out of your comfort zone can be a big change and at times even scary. But like the old saying says, no risks, no reward. I'm going to tell you a couple of stories on how I took risks and how they paid off. As many of you might know, I used to sell a ton on eBay and I was getting too, so tired of all the fees. I wanted and needed to make a change. eBay is only good for so long. You can grow your business selling on it, but you will reach a plateau at some point in time. Once this happens, you need to change your business. After months of thinking about closing my eBay account, I finally did it one day. I finally did it. I, it, was, it was Saturday night, I had four beers in me, and bam, just hit delete, close the account. I got rid of eBay. I remember being so excited the next day. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> what did I do? I questioned myself, and from my experience, you need to go with what feels good. It took me three days to create a website. It cost a total of $50, and after two days, I was up selling items. I, I sold a couple items and it was great. As time went by, I added all the products that needed to be added to the website. After 30 days, I made a profit of $1,500. Not great, but hey, it was my website, my business, no fees to eBay. Six months later, I was making a profit of $6,000 a month with very little effort. This website is now 16 months old. I've easily made over $100,000 in those 16 months just selling on one particular website that I owned. No big brother was holding me down. More money was in my pocket. What I learned the most from the experience is that anything can be done with hard work, changing your mentality, positive attitude, and patience. Here's another example of me taking chances, going for the gold type situation. It was about five years ago and I was looking for products to source from overseas that were, were, was currently not online. From my many years of owning a freight forwarding company, I had built a great network of people that can help me find products. Not only that, I built friendships with people in other countries that at easily at the end of the day is, is, is priceless to meet other people from different areas. Here I was looking for a new product. Basically to buy it, I was looking to buy it from Xiamen, China. I searched for two weeks. And the one item that stuck out to me was, was these garden solar lights. I, requ I requested some samples from five companies. And uh, when I got them, I listed them all on, on eBay. And I threw them all out there. Right away, boom, they started selling. What stood out to me about one of the products after I sold it was I got about 10 emails from the one. And it was basically, hey, do you have any more of these products for me to, to, to you know, for us to buy? And there was a lot of inquiries about this certain product. And uh, I knew that was the one I should buy. That was the one that I knew was going to make me money. So I placed the order. A 20 foot container from Xiamen, China to Chicago. As the freight landed in Chicago and I was getting ready to clear customs, I already had all the product listed online. I was ready, I was excited. Sales were great at first, but as the weeks went by, I started noticing other sellers, especially in the United States, selling the same product. And as you might know, as more competition comes up, the price starts coming down. I mean, this happens with everything. After 30 days, I couldn't get rid of this product. I, I couldn't get rid of it. I spent $9,000, including shipping, customs fees, all the, all the gray matter stuff on getting this product here. I sold about $5,000 worth of them in 21 days, and then the bottom dropped out. I was so pissed off at myself as I went out of my comfort zone to, to, to do this deal, and I failed. Well, long story short, I ended up taking a loss. I, I took a loss on the rest of the inventory. It took me two years to finally sell every single one of those products. The lesson learned here was I took a risk. I took a risk and that all risks pay off. The beauty of taking risks was, was to try to make more money, to try to do something to get more revenue in every day, every week, every month. You win some and you lose some. You, 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 some become success stories, some become failures. Take the positives out of the failures. It was a life lesson no matter what happens. You will always learn from any mistakes and this will make you a better person from learning from your mistakes. You have to go out today and take the risks. If you are stuck in the same routine, you will never be able to grow and increase your profits. Everyone's business is different, but to have success, you need to be the leader. Take charge, take chances. Let's face it, life isn't easy. Every day is a challenge and you need to understand how to deal with it. Stop worrying about other people. Worry about yourself and your family. 
That is what is most important. Save your money, folks. Take risks and grow your business. Now I have to get back to work. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I appreciate it. Hate me, like me. It doesn't matter. I enjoy these podcasts. I enjoy making videos. And I'll continue to, to keep putting the information out to help motivate others to do the same. Have a question or want me to talk about a specific uh, subject on a, on a future podcast or a video? Hit me up on my Facebook. Do you have a story about a, a risk you did in life? That you did in picking? Share it with me. I'd love to hear it from you. Now become the leader and start making that bank. Opportunities are out there waiting for you. Go out today and take advantage of the opportunity. It's waiting for you. Till next time, I'm out. 5000 G. Peace.